Fun fact, I used to be a millionaire. Now I'm just a broke producer with a thousand different plugins that I don't use. There's so many options when it comes to plugins and I'd be the first person to tell you I have wasted so much money buying these things that just sit on my computer and I never use them. Now the next couple minutes, I wanna go through five tips that are gonna help you save money but still find those plugins that will help you and make a difference in your music. So the first tip I have for you is research before you buy. Now we could do this a couple ways. Try and read reviews, watch tutorials on the plugin. The other option I highly recommend is try before you buy. Many companies offer trials, whether it be three day, seven day, 14 day. I highly recommend taking advantage of a trial though, because this really is your opportunity to see if you gel with that plugin, if you mesh with it. For example, let's say after the 14 days, you still find yourself constantly reaching for that compressor or that EQ. Well, after the 14 days, I'd say that's probably worth the money if you're still reaching for it. But how many times do you find you get a plugin and within 14 days, you stop using it? That's the beauty of the trial. If after the 14 days, you don't find yourself constantly reaching for that plugin, maybe it's not worth it. Now, the second tip I wanna stack on top of this is always look for sales and discounts. Truthfully, you should never try and buy a plugin at full price because they always go on sale. So some of the obvious dates where these sales go on, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the New Year sales. A lot of companies do summer sales. Now to find these discounts, there are some sites and ways you can go about this. I highly recommend Plugin Boutique as a website that constantly pushes plugins on sale. It's a really helpful resource. The other option is to sign up for newsletters for the plugin companies that you like. I'll give a specific example here. I do use a lot of Plugin Alliance and they throw coupon codes into my inbox literally almost on a daily basis where for 24 hours, a plugin will be on sale, you know, 75% off. So if you really like that plugin and you want to buy it, knock yourself out. But I highly recommend being patient here. You can always find these plugins on sale. For those who don't know me, my name is Zach. I've been helping run Cosmic Academy for the past 10 years now. We're an artist development program. We've worked with 650 plus students, one-on-one -on -one basis. And these students are badass. They sign to the biggest labels. They play the biggest shows and they have a ton of plugins, just like you, just like me. So how can we be smart about this moving forward? The plugins we buy, the plugins we use. If you're a student, always inquire about a student discount. The reason I say this is because with our students in Cosmic Academy, they're able to use that to get discounts on plugins. A lot of plugin companies will offer a discount if you're a student, but you have to ask to find out. Some will have it in their terms on their website. Others shoot an email to the customer support, say, hey, do you offer any student discounts? But so many plugin companies do. Now, the discount may not be as great as a Black Friday sale, but something is better than nothing. And if you're a student, you should always take advantage of that potential discount. For the fourth way to save money, let's talk about choosing the right plan. If you don't want to drop the full price on a plugin right away in this moment and save some money in your pocket, a lot of companies now offer rent to own. They offer subscription-based models for their plugins. You can find the one that makes most sense for you. So for example, with the rent to own options, Splice is a great place to start. They have things like Serum, Pigments, Phase Plant, a bunch of stuff from Arturia, Neutron, Ozone. They have a lot of things that you can rent to own. So you basically pay a small amount each month month and when that total reaches the amount for that plugin you now own it and you're no longer renting it. And then on the flip side, there are just subscription-based models where you don't own the plugins, but for a smaller price, you can use them. So Plugin Alliance, Slate Digital, UAD now has Spark, which allows anyone to use their plugins without the actual interface. And those are a monthly payment. It's not as much as spending everything up front to own that plugin. So there are a lot of different options. Pick the one that makes most sense for you and your budget. For the fifth and final way to save money buying plugins, it's the free route. There are so many high quality free plugins nowadays. And if you're not in love with a plugin or there's a free plugin that can do the same thing as that $200 plugin, is it really worth it? So there are three spots I recommend when searching for high quality free plugins. Starting with two websites, which are Splice and Plugin Boutique, they have sections that list out all free plugins. There's direct links to go download them. They rank them by popularity. They're really helpful if you just don't know what's out there because 
because there are so many options at this point. You could always just sift through and find the ones you like. For the next one, these are going to be free analog model plugins, and it comes from a company called Analog Obsession. Now, if you search them, you're going to notice it is on Patreon. They are free, but basically, if you want to say thank you, you could subscribe to Analog Obsession. But let's talk about these plugins. We should just knock the word free off because they're high quality plugins. They're really, really good. It's not that they're good for free plugins. They're just plain high quality plugins. There are a lot of analog modeled options from the SSL EQs to the different compressors and stuff that UAD has, Plugin Alliance has, Waves has. So I would definitely recommend heading over there, trying out some of their stuff before you go spend the money on something like a Waves, UAD, or Plugin Alliance, and just see. Ultimately, the decision is yours. Now, the final place I like to look for free plugins is Reddit. I always find that on Reddit, you find some shit that no other site is talking about. Specifically, even for Ableton, sometimes you find some cool free Max for Live devices, which if you're interested in, my last video just covered this topic. So I'm gonna put that on the end screen so you can watch it. But regardless, Reddit is always a gold mine for information. And specifically in this case, maybe some free plugins that you haven't heard of. That does it. I hope these tips can help you save money and learn from my mistakes because I've definitely wasted on tons of plugins that now I never use. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate you hitting that like button, subscribing to our Cosmic Academy channel, and until the next video, I'll see you soon.